Area Country Joe here. How we doing out there in the interweb, folks? Staying positive today, I hope. Well, we decided today that we're going to go check out another lake. We're trying to do some lakes this year for you. So we're going to go to Lake Chillisquaki or something like that. Crazy Indian name for it, but it's the Montour Preserve. And it's about 14 miles from my house. Now, like I said on one of my previous videos, I'm trying to hit some of these lakes that are closer to me right now. I'd like to hit some of the lakes that are further away. Some of them are even better fishing. Have a little bit more area to fish and stuff, but I just filled my Toyota Tacoma. My little Toyota Tacoma, Master Yoda, for $81. And I already had a quarter tank of gas. This, this is nuts. I know you're all going through it. And as I said before, these poor guys that decided to fix up diesels and run them for your, you know, kayak and rigs and overland rigs. Wow, I just, seven something a gallon, I think I just saw it at. But anyway, we're going to the lake today out in Montour Preserve, Lake Chillisquaki. And I had gone out here with the wife in the canoe. And we canoed around a little bit. And when I'm with the wife in the canoe, we just really enjoy seeing nature and paddling around. It isn't all about the fishing, but there was fish jumping everywhere. I'm thinking there's some pretty big trout, but they were jumping everywhere across the top, and I saw some really big carp. I'm talking three and a half foot carp. So today we're going to go to that lake. We're going to see what we can mess with, troll a little bit, and then I have some carp bait with me. Uh, I think we're going to try and set up on one of these big bad boys. We're going to go over where they feed, and we're going to anchor up along the, the shoreline there. We're going to throw out some carp bait. We'll just sit there for a while and yahoo fish is what I like to call it. And we'll yahoo fish for a little bit and see if we hook up with one of them babies. Maybe tow us around for a little bit get a free pull in that Catch Power 100. All right, so stay tuned, people. Uh, we'll see you in a couple minutes. It's going to take me about maybe 20 minutes to get there. And then we'll break out the camera and we'll start getting our rig set up. And, Maybe I'll show you a little bit of the Catch Power 100 today. See you soon. Well, we're almost there, folks. And I'd just like to bring up one thing quick before we get there. If you are coming here, this is Amish and Mennonite country. So you're going to see a lot of wagons and horses. Just be respectful. Wait for you know a good opening to go around them and give them a wide berth, just like you would any bicycle or pedestrian. Uh, don't don't pass them on blind turns. There's way too many Amish and Mennonite family almost every year that have horrific accidents where people are in such a hurry that they end up causing an accident. And you're in a car with airbags and the whole nine yards, and these poor people are in a wagon from the 1920s. So just be respectful when you're coming here and give them a wide berth. Take your time. Don't be in a... So here we are. We're starting to just approach the Lake Chillisquaki. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I should look it up, but it's just funny to say it in a bunch of different ways. <laughs> so we're going to head to the boat launch here. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of people here today, which is good. Ah, we got another kayaker out there. Looks like he might be coming in. He might have headed out early. All right. Well, here's the lake. We're going to start unloading our gear and get ready to go out and see if we can get some fish. So here we are. We're out on Lake Chillisquaki. And on PA Country Joe, I like to keep it real. I really don't edit much. I don't add a bunch of fancy stuff to my videos. So what I will say is, rookie mistake today. I have, actually have the float for my poles that you put on your pole so your pole won't sink. You know, you know what I'm going to say next, right? Yeah, I was messing around with all my stuff after I got out there a little ways to get set up and uh, I bumped one of my favorite poles out. Now, normally I'd be really bummed, but I have my magnet set, so I'll just grab my magnet, come back over here, and I doubt anybody's going to snag into it. If they do, then I've caught three poles bunch of free poles before somebody else will get a free pole I guess what comes around goes around but rookie mistake make sure you pay attention to your gear even put the floats on your rods because that just 
starts the day off a little raw. But we'll see what else happens here. Got to stay positive, right? All right, Got PA Country Joe, we're here with Darren. What's up, Darren? Hey, Joe. How you doing? All right, Darren's sporting his Crescent, and he was just telling me that if you got a Crescent owner's group, he was showing me a wild motor setup that he has, and he was going to share some of what he's done, which I think is fantastic. Oh, that's cool, yeah. So we were, um, we were 3D printing some stuff out of my basement, and um, everybody uses the PWMs to try to conserve your motor, and I thought I'd do one better. So I added a steering setup as well. With the, um, I used an old servo from a remote-controlled car there. So now you don't have to reach back and hit it there. That so control is that right up here. awesome. And then I can still con I can control the speed up here too. So it's all on this little console right up here. Check that out. For those of you who are sick of turning around like me, this is just fantastic. All right, so, so all those years of engineering school paid off. <laughs> all right, man. Well, good luck with it, and yeah. thanks for sharing it with yeah, us, you man. Take care. That's cool. All right, man. You guys got to check that out. Crescent Owners Group, he's going to release some of it, uh, some of the 3D printed stuff that he's done. It's fantastic, man. PA Country Job, Darren. Darren's uh, recovering some of the stuff. He just helped the guy out here. He guy yelled for us that he flipped out of his kayak or what do you do when something like that happens you help you know that? well that was crazy i just i had this like bad cloud over me since i lost my pole it was pretty beat up but i like that pole i just had this cloud over my head and then i met this gentleman uh, in the parking lot darren and he bought a crescent up at uh, five mountains off of brian and uh, he was telling me about how he wanted to try out his 3D printed uh, steering mechanism that he had for a regular trolling motor. So I watched him move around with a little bit and he came over and we decided to do a little video. And we were doing a video kind of plugging, you know, what he's doing and, you know, uh, where he's going to release what he's been doing and stuff. And a little bit about it. And we hear this guy on the dock yelling, hey, could you guys help him? Could you guys help him? And we turned around and here a guy had flipped out of his kayak. So me and Darren immediately stopped video and just turned and burned and we flew over there and here it was an elderly veteran. And I have a thing about veterans, I shake their hand, I thank them for their service a lot and this was one of the greatest experiences of my life, not of his. But being able to help this man to the shore, gather his senses and give his hat and Darren grabbed his crock and his paddle for him and stuff we got him in the shore and we laughed it off and we made him you know feel better about what had happened and made sure he was okay i'm not going to put him on video but god bless the man he hadn't been out in three years and he had an old kayak that was very narrow and uh he flipped it and that's how quick it can happen you have to be prepared for that and he didn't have his vest on but he did have the mindset to grab a hold of that kayak right away and hold on to it so we flew up and grabbed the kayak and drug him into shore. And I was just blessed to do it. Do it any time. That's what you do when somebody needs help. You give it to them. It's called human compassion. So now we're back out. We shook it off. Darren headed into the parking lot. Getting a little bit too much traffic here. Pretty crowded for a Friday. I have to make the gas work, work it a little bit. So we're going to ride around a little bit more. We haven't caught anything. I had set up for... Uh, some uh, carp over there and just I saw them bubbling around but they weren't taken right now so we're doing a little bit of trolling and the edges are just getting worked over and over and over by people a lot of people here today so come and check Lake Chilisquale out in the Montour Preserve it's beautiful it's fantastic kayak and it's a wonderful place to come and just check out with your family uh, you can bring your boat here you can bring your kayak here but uh, there's a lot of fish here, they're jumping all over, but from what I've been hearing from everybody, they're pretty finicky. Talked to a guy, a gentleman that's been fishing here two years, and he caught his first fish today. It was a 20 inch bass. That's a nice bass, but it took him two years of fishing. He said it's kind of hard to get him on here. So I will warn you, haven't really caught anything. Kind of looks like I'm gonna get skunked here, but check out the Montour Preserve and stay positive. PA Country Joe, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. The great outdoors in Northeastern Pennsylvania. here a little bit more. Okay, maybe we'll go have lunch and fish with some carp for a little while yet. Okay. One of the other things 
that's great about these uh, Tech Power 100s for only being nine foot nine, it's you know surprisingly stable to stand up in. I mean, you get used to it. You got a you know a decent balance. But I I would make sure you have all your stuff if you're gambling tied in. But these things do hold you up pretty well, I guess I would say. Well, that's Lake Chillisquaki, folks. Somebody's going to come on here and tell me exactly how to pronounce it, and I will welcome it. But anyway, we got skunk today. Didn't even get a bite, really. Uh, saw some fish. Heard from just about every fisherman out there that they were following it, but really no hit. Saw one guy that got a fish, and it just got packed. Boy, I'll tell you, right at about 12 o'clock noon on a Friday here, the kayaks, because they do rent kayaks there in case you want to rent kayaks if you don't have your own. They rent kayaks there and it just got overflowed with kayaks. So that really works fishing when everybody's going around the edges and throwing it all over the place. So we decided it got really hot. Most of the fishermen started bailing off the lake and just leaving it to the kids. So we're heading out now. It's been a crazy day. Lost an old fishing pole that I kind of like, but saved a veteran. And I even got to talk with him here after I went back over after he was calmed down a little bit. Didn't want to be right on top of him when he was all nervous, you know. And uh, he was loading up his kayak, so I asked him how he was doing. He was a great guy. His name is Jim. Uh, we got a selfie together I'll throw on here. He wants me to send it to him. And he was just a, a really great guy. One of those veterans that you like to stand there and talk to for half an hour. So, Jim, if you watch this video, man, keep kayaking. Keep at it, man. Freaking, I... It was great. I enjoyed uh, meeting you, and uh, maybe we'll meet up again on the Lake Chilla Squawky. PA Country Joe, stay positive. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the great outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania or wherever you're at. Just get off the couch and get outdoors. See ya. And remember, hit like and subscribe.